Well, I was just down at a wee gathering in Ballina there against the IPAST centre that's going to go, go in here. And uh, just an initial observation and a point I made down there, and it's about who we are and who we're not. And I think this is important. So we are the land of Cade Mila Falcha. We are the people that when we go off to sporting events to support our teams, we get recognised as the best supporters. We are the people that can go anywhere in the world and make a life for ourselves because we're sociable, we're knowledgeable, we're empathetic, we listen to people, and we just generally want to get on and as much as we can help people. As children, we're taught it. We're taught it in school when we fed the trocra box every Lent and we gave up something we loved or liked so that we could give it to people less fortunate than us. And at the time, we had an pot to piss in. But we, we were taught that no matter what we have, we have to help those less fortunate. So we did. And we brought people in from all over the world, from all over the war torn world, from Myanmar, from Ukraine, from Syria, and from other parts. And we've welcomed, welcomed them into our communities and we've done our absolute best considering the services that are available. But there is a tipping point. And who we are not is fascist or racist for standing up and saying when the tipping point has been reached. And anyone who might label us like that, in my opinion at least, are either shills or idiots, or a combination of both, shillians. And they're there to stop discourse. So when they try and tag a community or people for standing up for themselves, and saying enough's enough, it's to stop discourse. It's to stop dealing with the real issues as to why we can't take any more. It's in this town where I live, Balana, that the, half the town has fallen down with pyrite. But long before people came from Ukraine or people came in, in our proposed iPad center or anything like that, and we had our issues. We had issues with so, certain services, like everywhere else. We had issues with doctor services, with dental services, with school places and like if you ever drive into Balna at nine o'clock in the morning <laughs> good luck uh if you're ever driving it in the evening good luck we have so many issues local issues that were not addressed before any proposed ipass center and the system was already falling down and if we take in any more the system is going to fall down even more for us here in this town and i'm sure that's the same right across the board but the point I'm making is, because we argue that, and because we stand up for our communities, and because we want to decide the destiny for our children and our grandchildren, does not make us racist or fascist. And the people who label you that way should be given no quarter, and no energy, and no feedback. Give them nothing. Absolutely nothing. Because they're only there to sow division and to destroy any sort of solidarity that might be created. So that's my message for this evening. Uh, love to go out canvassing. We might get an hour or two this evening, but it's been pissing down rain out here all day, so I hope it clears. And if not, we'll see you all tomorrow in the next video. Take care.